my YouTube channel, and in this channel we'll be covering all things nutrition and health. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so on the tab below. And also please turn on the notifications button so that every time uh, we upload a new video, you get the notification that we have uploaded it and that way you'll be able to keep um, up to date with your nutrition and also get new information about nutrition. Welcome to my channel. The micronutrients, as the word says, micro, they are required in lower amounts in the body, but they cause complete chaos if you do not get them in the required amounts. So the micronutrients are vitamins and minerals, all right? Now, in terms of the vitamins and minerals, again, they have further subdivisions. So for instance, for the vitamins, we have water-soluble ones and the fat-soluble ones. So that is a classification according to their solubility. So the water-soluble ones dissolve in water. And that is why if you're cooking vegetables, um, a lot of them have the water-soluble vitamins. Now, the water-soluble vitamins, if you cook them in water, and you pour the water, you know, then your drainage is going to benefit from the vitamins more than, than your own body will. Because they are water soluble, so that means as in the cooking process, in the washing process, they are getting dissolved in the water that you're using. Then we have the ones that are called uh, fat soluble. So the fat soluble vitamins, as the word says, dissolve in fat. So in this, in, when they get into the body, they need some fatty acids to help in the transportation of those vitamins to the different sites. The major difference again between the two vitamins, the, the two uh, classifications of the vitamins, which is the water soluble and the fat soluble ones. Um, the water soluble most of the time do not get stored in the body. All right but the fat soluble ones are stored in the body so it's very important for you to know the best sources of these vitamins and also where to get them now the other classifications or classification of the nutrients is the minerals minerals are required in smaller amounts but again we have very many minerals that are very very important for us in terms of um, the body requiring them for different processes uh, every day so we have an example of calcium we have magnesium we have iron we have phosphorus we have potassium there are quite a number of them and you know as we discuss disease you'll realize that you know in later videos you'll realize that some of them will keep cropping up and you know in terms of their um, their different functions in the body you know, you'll realize like when we are discussing kidney disease, you know, I'll mention something on potassium and phosphorus and how that is affected, you know, how the disease makes the intake of those minerals reduce because there's a way that they affect the body. When we are discussing about bone health, we'll be discussing um, magnesium, calcium, um, and also others like, you know, some, some key vitamins as well. So what we really forget, is, especially when you're talking about bone health, is calcium does not work alone. So I'll also be explaining how, you know, calcium works together with magnesium and vitamin D3 to be well absorbed in the body, all right? So we have the minerals that are electrolytes. So what that means is, you know, in terms of the way they work in the system, um, some of them will be found inside the cell, some will be found outside, you know, in the extracellular fluid, as we would call it, but what that means simply is just they're outside the cell. And, you know, there's a way they regulate um, how the cells and the body functions, whether they're inside the cell or they're supposed to be outside the cells. All right, like for potassium, I'll be discussing in the next video how potassium and sodium work together as minerals to regulate your blood pressure. Okay, so um, that is a brief about the nutrients so all you need to remember is the key um, macronutrients is the three that I started by mentioning the carbohydrate the protein and the fat and then remember the micronutrients which are required in smaller amounts but are very very key because again I have not mentioned this this actually they are the key building blocks of your immune system so if you do not take enough minerals uh, on a daily basis and also the vitamins, then your immunity is going to be compromised. And we're going to be discussing how they work in ensuring that your, 
your immunity is up to par. You know, if somebody passes you with a cold, you're not catching it every time. Um, if you're exposed to different conditions that have communicable diseases, a communicable disease is a disease that can be passed from one person to another. So if you come across someone with a communicable disease, then you're not catching it um, easily because your immune system is strong enough to be able to fight it. All right. Now, the last thing I want to mention as we close this video is water. We forget a lot how important water is. Do you know? You know, like water is the foundation of all the chemical processes or the medium by which all the chemical processes in your body take place. So if you're not taking enough water on a daily basis, one, you're hurting your kidneys and also you're not able to excrete or, you know, remove the toxic substances and dirt from your system. So water is very, very, very important for each one of us and it needs to be clean, pure water. All right, so how much water do you need on a daily basis? First of all, what's your weight? Yeah, that number that cropped out in your mind. So take that number of your kgs in terms of weight and multiply it by 30 ml per kilogram body weight. Okay, so you need for every kilogram of your body weight, you need 30 ml of water. So if you're 60 kgs, then you multiply that by 30 ml per kilogram, then you need at least 1800 milliliters of water on a daily basis. That's about 1.8 liters. So please do your calculations and tell me in the next video whether you're getting enough water per day, right? You can comment on the section, comment section below and let me know whether you're, you've been getting enough water per day or you know you may have to boost it up a bit after this discussion. So until the next video, you guys, please stay healthy. Choose the right nutrition. Um, make sure you're getting enough uh, amounts of your, your macro and micro uh, nutrients on a daily basis and also your water. Get the right amount of water on a daily basis. All right. And until the next video, please stay healthy and be blessed. Bye for now.